an absolute whirlwind 24 hours. Welcome back to another episode of Sweet Luke. In this episode, Jack Ginnivan is now a hawk. Let's discuss it, let's see what happens and, and go from there. So, like I said, a whirlwind 24 hours, probably 36 hours ago, Graham Wright came out and said, haven't fielded any calls from uh, other clubs for Jack Ginnivan. He's a required player, he's staying at the Pies. And then bang, 12 hours later maybe, uh, Jack Ginnivan's management and it, it comes out and say, uh, people come out and say, yeah, Ginnivan is looking at um, a trade deal, Hawthorne are up to their necks in him. And just like that, a trade grenade. Another one. And that's, that's it. Jack Ginnivan, like I said in my video yesterday, Jack Ginnivan wanted to be a Hawk. He never came out and said it. He didn't confirm it with the club or anything. It was his management pushing this. Uh, and now today, he came out and said, well, he didn't probably come out and say, but he told the club, I'm looking for a trade out. I want to go to Hawthorne. Get me to the Hawthorne. Now, off the top of the bat, Jack Ginnivan, I just want to thank him for, for everything. You know, kind of like the Taylor Adams thing as well. Thank him for everything that he's done for this club. I know he's only played 40 or something games, 42 games maybe. Um, kicked over 50 goals. Uh, Anzac Day medalist. Premiership player. So he will go down as a Collingwood legend. Everyone who, who wins a Premiership medal is a Collingwood legend, right? Um, and he was just so fun to watch. And, and we've, we've ridden the highs. We've ridden the lows with him. Uh, and there's been a lot of lows. We've stuck by him, all the booing side and all this sort of stuff. And we've watched him sort, you know, grow up. Uh, mature, maybe not, but we have watched him grow up. And he, from the rookie list, from the rookie list, he's a premiership player. That is incredible. Um, so, you know, hats off to him for that aspect. And the, the, the deal itself, the going to Hawthorne, I assume it's because Hawthorne, one, they offered him four years, which is stability. Um, contract stability, and two, you know, his management probably said, look, Collingwood, you're not going to get games week in, week out, you're young, you just want to play as many games as you can, Hawthorne just lost uh, Brockman, um, and, you know, they want you, they're going to play you every single week, and, and they love you, and, you know, X, X, Y, Z, so I assume that's what one of the reasons why, a main reason why he left the club, because he wants to play week in, week out. Now, if I can be brutally honest for a second and I'm, look I, I'm always honest in my videos and, and in my thoughts but I'm never like brutally honest I, I do want to say that I think it's a bit what's it what's the word I'm looking for it's a bit I don't want to say weak it, it's it's not, that's not the word I'm looking for it, it's it does suck a lot that you know it's a disheartening there we go it, it's disheartening that Jack Ginnivan and his management weren't, you know, weren't um, wanting to, to fight for that spot. No, no spot is guaranteed uh, in round one, 2024. No one spot is guaranteed. You have to earn that. You have to fight for it. I told you about um, Oleg Markov's um, thoughts after the prelim. So that's the sort of, you know, that's what you want. That's the fight. And that's, that's what you want. It just, it just doesn't seem like Ginnivan and his management wanted to fight for his position, and, and now he's taken the easier route, in my opinion, to go to the Hawks to play week in, week out. Which, yeah, it's just, it's disheartening. It's it's really, really um, disheartening. You know, could this be like a Jaden Stevenson 2.0? Who knows? Like, we'll never know. Those rumors and stuff that you heard, they're absolutely untrue. I've confirmed it with the club, with the media communication team at the club. Um, we have a lot of conversations about this sort of stuff. All untrue. Right, well, obviously it's all true. If it's so unbelievable, it's obviously unbelievable, okay? Um, but yeah, it, you know, I wish him all the best. It does hurt to see him going, but I wish him all the best. Now for the trade itself. What do uh, we get? What do Hawthorne get? So we get pick 33, Hawthorne's future second round pick, and Hawthorne's future third round pick. Hawthorne get Jack Ginnivan, pick 39, our future second round pick, and our future fourth round pick. So there's a lot of um, weight on, you know, where a Hawthorne going to finish, where a Collingwood going to finish, kind of like our um, Fremantle receiving our future first for uh, Lockie Schultz. So future second, if Hawthorne finish in the bottom six, future second is looking like, I don't know what, pick 26, 27, 28 or something like that. You know, and, and when you think about it, from the rookie list, so I think it was like pick 13 in, in, the, rookie, in the rookie draft, um, to get that and to get... 
pretty much a, a second round of this round uh, this year or pick 33 this year which is a second round and then a future second round so it's a big upgrade it's a really big upgrade um and i think it's just i think it's just good business he clearly didn't want to be at the club there were reports coming out that he was seeking a you know testing the waters from mid-season so when someone does that um you know the writings on the wall i've heard other things like senior players weren't really happy with him and um you know when he was playing vfl he, he didn't really show up around the club but all those are unfounded uh, you know I, I can't um confirm any of those because i haven't been able to um but that's all the sort of stuff that you hear big footy and all this sort of stuff and people that i sort of talk to around but you know good luck to him and yeah it, it is what it is now but what does this mean for us what does it mean for collingwood not much, really. Like, yes, Jack Ginevan goes and it sucks and, and he's a premiership player and we absolutely loved him and there's going to be a lot of people sad, a lot of kids sad. You know, Jack Ginevan's their favourite player and stuff like that. Um, but for the team, Lockie Schultz comes in. So you'd think Lockie Schultz, bang, walks back in, or walks straight into the 22. Jack Ginevan would have struggled. Like, let's admit it. Jack Ginevan would have struggled for games next year. Um, but who, who's to say Lucky Schultz can't struggle for games next year? Who's to say Bobby Hill can um, struggle for games next year if Jack Ginevan's put on this huge preseason and, and does what he needs to do and, and, and is that player that we, that we know he can be? But, you know, th there's no point looking like that and, and dealing with what ifs, like Craig McRae said. He didn't want to fight for it. He goes to the Hawks, and the Hawks are going to give him a walk-up start. But look, that's just my thoughts on the Jack Ginevan trade saga that's happened. It's happened now. Ginevan is a hawk. We get Lockie Schultz, um, who could be an upgrade on him. We've seen what Lockie Schultz can do. do so uh, we'll see about that. But let me know your thoughts down below. In the meantime, like, comment, subscribe. Tay family, tay friends, tay fans. And until next time, double shakers. I'll see you later.